Guys, welcome to another video. <coughs> You've got Mr. Everything English with the terrible cough. And today, guys, we are looking at paper one, question five, which is writing a story. Now, last year, guys, and the year before that, and for the past eight years, I have been teaching students that when you do question five, learn your question five off by heart, tweak it on the day and use it in your exam. Now, last year, guys, it kind of uh, got a lot of popularity when it came to using the pre-story. And lots of students, guys, with a lot of success, used the pre-story for the exam. Now, after having given it a lot of thought, I don't want to stop at that. So this year, guys, every six weeks, I will be releasing a different plot that you can use for your exam. It would be a different plot. So you've already got the priest part one. This video will be priest part two. And then I will release another plot every six weeks. They may be about the priest. They may have nothing to do with the priest, but it will be six plots. Sorry, it will be a plot released every six weeks that you can pick up, tweak, and hopefully apply to lots of different exam questions because the exam questions are very, very broad. Now guys, for this video and for this series of videos, I will only be giving you the plot of the story. I won't be talking about language. I won't be talking about vocabulary or structure. I will just be giving you the plot, which you can then make your own. So the first video guys in this series is only fitting if we begin with priest part two. So how does priest part two go? In priest part two guys, it begins with the priest waiting. Guys, it begins with the priest waiting. Now, what is the priest waiting for? Guys, the priest is waiting in the queue to enter heaven. And this priest, guys, he has been waiting for 17 years in this queue. He has been waiting for 17 years. And finally, guys, <coughs> there's only one... <coughs> guys, finally, there's only one person ahead of him in this queue. And at the gates of heaven, there's an angel. And the angel is letting people in one by one. So... After waiting for 17 years, guys, it's finally the priest's turn, guys. It's finally the priest's turn. He is up and he walks towards the gates and he is allowed in. Guys, he is allowed in. So the priest, in paragraph one, he enters heaven. Paragraph two, guys, all I do is I describe heaven. However, there's a twist. The priest is a little bit let down. After waiting for 17 years and worshiping God all his life, heaven is not as great as he thought it would be. It's a bit of a letdown. It's not as amazing as he thought. And then what happens guys? The priest learns that heaven, guys, the priest learns that heaven has three levels and priest is in the bottom. He's shocked. He can't believe this. How has God put him in the bottom level of heaven when there's three and number one is supposed to be the best? That's why it's a letdown because the priest has been put down in the bottom level or put into the bottom level of heaven. Now, what does the priest do, guys? In paragraph four, the priest goes on a small mission and this mission is to sneak into level one. And all I do, guys, is I describe the small mission. It's not no movie, guys. It's not a Mission Impossible movie. All he does, he might sneak past the angels. He might climb up a few stairs. He picks a few locks. And the priest is so close to getting into level one. And that's where paragraph one begins. In paragraph, sorry, paragraph five. In paragraph five, guys, the priest is so close to entering level one of heaven. And he's very, very close, guys, to opening the door. Guys, he's very, very close to opening the door. However, he feels some hands on his shoulders and two angels hold him. Guys, the priest is caught. And unfortunately, because he's caught in my story, the priest is banished into hell. And that is another plot for a paper one. Question five. Now, let's prove the point. 
how would you apply this plot to lots of GCSE questions? Let's use some past papers as example. Last year, the question was, write a story about a rescue, somebody being rescued. Right at the end, just when the angels are about to throw him into hell, he hears a voice and God says, stop. Do you not know who that man is? This man worshipped me his whole life. Bring him back and I will give him one more chance. God rescues the priest right at the end. A year before that, write a story about somebody feeling abandoned. When the priest finds out that he's been chucked into level three, he feels as though he's been abandoned by the one true thing that he's been worshipping his whole life. He feels as though he has been abandoned by God. Let's say, for example, you get a question that says, write a story set in the future. The moment the priest enters heaven, the heaven is very, very futuristic. The angels are like robots. They're not flying. They're like zoot, zoot, zoot. <laughs> that was terrible. But you get, you get my drift. The angels behave like robots. Everything is so mechanical. That is, if you get a question about something set in the future. If they say, I don't know, write a story, write a story, write a story, write a story about the happiest day of your life. At the end, the priest doesn't get caught. He gets into level one and that is where the party's at. And that is why he loves it. But guys, my point being, here is another free plot that you can use, tweak and use in your exam. And if anyone tells you it's plagiarism, say, please stop lying to me. Because this is just an idea. Your job is to create the masterpiece. All right, guys, in six weeks time, I will release another plot. So now you have two. You have the original priest story. You have priest part two. And in six weeks, guys, I will give you another one. You're welcome to choose whichever one you like. As always, guys, it's been Mr. Everything English. Actually, wait, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Five paragraphs. Five paragraphs. The star here and the star here means that between paragraph one and paragraph two and paragraph three and paragraph four, you have to insert a paragraph of one line and a written language here, guys. These videos are not to teach you how to write a story. They are just to give you a plot. But if you do use this, please don't forget that you need language devices, vocabulary, punctuation, and so on. Please check out any of the other videos where I break down how to write a story in detail. All right. Now, as always, thank you for listening. It's been Mr. Everything English. Peace.